everybody, it's Wall Guy. Today I wanted to show off a complete unedited round of Heist from Battlefield Hardline, uh, the beta that just came out. Uh, it can really be exciting and fun, and I wanted to capture a complete experience so that you can see what it's all about. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos from me in general, make sure to bribe me with, say, 70 likes, and I will repay you with another fresh video shortly. Also, please leave a comment, uh, add to the discussion if you can. In particular, I'm interested in your impressions of the game so far, uh, if you've gotten a chance to play it, that is. Are you looking forward to this game, or is it too soon on the heels of Battlefield 4? As I mentioned, this is a new mode called Heist. It's a cops versus criminals game, and as I'm playing the part of a criminal this round, I have a task of trying to rob these armored trucks you're looking at, and trying to get away with the loot, becoming rich. Yes! <laughs> The cops, of course, try to stop us by depriving us of our dastardly goal until the tickets run out. In the midst of all that, all sorts of hell can and does break loose until the best team wins. In addition to the usual gunplay, you've got all kinds of things blowing up all over the place, you've got vehicles exploding, turning over, you've got things, parts of the level, levolution events coming down around you, I mean things really kind of go to crap. And then smoke kicks up around the level. It gets pretty exciting and crazy. You really feel like you're in the middle of a, a big, major scale heist. As you see, I just picked up the loot here. I'm going to wait for a safe moment to try to run it into the end, which is ultimately how you win as the criminal side of this game. Uh, there are two uh, money packages that you got to take to escape uh, areas uh, on the level, and if you get them both, then you win and the cops lose. Hopefully, what you're seeing here kind of gives you a nice perspective that this is quite a bit different than Battlefield 4 and how it plays out. Um, there are many superficial shared assets and the Battlefield name. Uh, Hardline is not just a Battlefield 4 reskin though. This game does stand on its own and could have really been its own game if EA didn't really want to infuse it with all that Battlefield brand power. Um, yes, the gunplay is familiar and we're on the Frostbite 3 engine as well. And vehicular action is still present and important, but the similarities really end there. Battlefield Hardline is a different animal because of its new modes. In the beta there are two modes on display, and they both are pretty awesome. If you like infantry gameplay, you'll feel right at home because the battle zones are often dense and frantic, uh, not spread out like a Battlefield Conquest or whatever. And my personal impression uh, so far is that at its best, Heist mode feels a lot like, uh, say, a video game version of the movie Heat. Hopefully you're familiar with that awesome movie. Uh, you got all this desperate, all-out warfare in a major population center. Uh, in this case, the streets of Los Angeles, my backyard. And there's really a ton of potential here. But that's not to say that the game doesn't still need work. Uh, with the use of the Frostbite 3 engine, many of Battlefield 4's problems return, unfortunately. And the netcode is still problematic, and sometimes there's difficulty bounding over and around objects. Uh, but I do think that since the underlying technology is shared with Battlefield 4, we'll continue to see improvements from the Battlefield 4 CTE brought over to Hardline, hopefully soon and hopefully often, all the way up to release. And we also are going to benefit from having an actual beta, not a demo, uh, many months before the actual game release. I mean, this hasn't been happening with games lately. It's finally happening here. Thank goodness. Uh, maybe they can actually learn something and get the game polished in time for launch. We can have a, a fair launch with minimal bugs, and the Battlefield community can get back to playing and enjoying their games rather than spending their time complaining about all that's wrong with the games, you know, and rightfully so, but hopefully we can do better moving forward. I think Visceral Games is onto something good here, and if they get it right, if it can come out polished, I could be spending a lot of time with Hardline. Uh, I really enjoyed this close quarters action. Uh, you also notice, uh, I don't know if you noticed while watching this, but almost every building is like, you can go in there. There's detailed interiors, usually several floors, uh, get to the rooftops. It's a lot more than in Battlefield 4. And it really adds to the immersiveness of running through this city and uh, going through this heist. A really great thing to note, a benefit of having so many rendered indoor areas, is that uh, rooftop camping kind of has nullified quite a bit. I mean, there's so many places you can go indoors and avoid the rooftop sniping angles and all that, that it really becomes 
uh, a waste of time to spend too much time on the rooftops. Uh, there, there is some advantage, and you can provide uh, sniping coverage, but it's not going to be you know, that all-in-one desired spot that everybody wants to get to. Now you see right here, uh, I met up with a guy that's got the loot, and I'm kind of running point, uh, helping him escape without getting killed as we work our way to the rooftop uh, excursion point. And I clear the top, nobody here, and out we run to the final escape, and we did it, we won. So that was the new heist mode in Battlefield Hardline, uh, the beta. I hope you enjoyed watching it. It's a lot of fun to play. I suggest giving it a try if you can. Don't write it off just because it's another Battlefield so soon. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised myself playing this, and I think you might be too.